Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger ridiculed Sens. David Perdue and Kelly Loeffler over their demand that his office release a list of newly registered voters, saying in a statement Tuesday that the pair should call their campaign offices, since they had already received that information. Though I've told the Republican Party to stop focusing on me and instead direct their energies to winning the Senate runoffs, clearly they haven't listened, Raffensperger said. Raffensperger and Georgia Governor Brian Kemp R. have come under attack for resisting Trump's baseless claims that there was widespread voter fraud in the state, which Trump says caused him to lose to President-elect Joe Biden. That vitriol has spilled into the Senate contests, which will decide the party that controls the Senate for the first two years of Biden's term. Democrats need to win both seats to secure a 50-50 split making Vice President-elect Kamala Harris the tie-breaking vote in Democrats' favor if needed. Trump's rhetoric when it comes to Raffensperger and Kemp keeps getting more intense. On Tuesday morning, he retweeted a call from conspiracy theorist and attorney Lynn Wood for the two Georgia officials to be put in jail. Over 4,000. That's how many poll watchers Republicans say they've recruited for the Senate runoffs. This increase of security around the runoffs has led the Trump campaign to take a completely different message in terms of mail-in voting compared to the presidential election, openly calling on Georgia Republicans to request your absentee ballot right now. Loeffler, Purdue request list of new Georgia voter registrations amid out-of-state influx concerns, Fox News, no, you cannot move to Georgia just to vote in the Senate runoffs, Fox, Trump retweets claim that Georgia governor and top election official will be jailed, Forbes, Republicans now encouraging Georgia voters to request absentee ballots for Senate runoffs, Forbes.